it wasn't always like this. We weren't always known for engineering. We didn't have a medical school, let alone two. And there were no PhD programs, Fulbright scholars, or thriving college town. It's easy to take it all for granted because a lot of us have never known it any other way. But just a few years ago, this was a very different institution. A well-regarded local state college that served the public without fanfare, ready to stay the course. Until one gift, a $100 million transformational gift, changed everything and set Glassboro State on the path to become Rowan University. And since then, we started one of the top 25 undergraduate engineering programs in the nation fostered entrepreneurial spirits in our business programs, cultivated ambition, excellence, and broader horizons throughout the curricula, and responded to the national need for 21st century healthcare with innovative health sciences and medical education. In our colleges, schools, centers, and institutes, we're conducting world-class research that's meeting society's needs and solving the problems of business and industry. We're the fourth fastest growing research institution in the nation a top 100 national public research university dedicated to excellent undergraduate education. We're providing more scholarships, increasing access to college education and reducing the financial burden of earning a valuable four-year degree. We're nationally ranked and routinely earn national notice for students and faculty doing extraordinary things. We're driving the economy of the region and increasing what New Jersey can do to help its citizens be healthier, more productive, and secure. Transformation is not just the story of Rowan University, it's the promise offered to everyone who walks through our doors. Students find themselves and a foundation for their future. Researchers devote themselves to discovery and understanding Innovators, scholars, entrepreneurs, everyone with curiosity and commitment to know more and do more, they all transform our world. So when it seems like Rowan University is continually forging new pathways, it's because it's true. We're creating new ways to learn, explore, and build. We're partnering with business and industry, educators and leaders to accomplish more together. We're encouraging people to imagine, equipping them to pursue and achieve. Being transformed is more than Rowan's story. It's the future we share with New Jersey and our region. Here's to decades more discovery, growth, and transformation at Rowan University. Hello, and welcome to all of our prospective students and their families. I'm Dr. Stephanie Farrell, Interim Dean of the Henry M. Rowan College of Engineering, and I want to thank you for attending today's virtual open house. We have an exciting program planned for you today that will include a virtual tour of our facilities, a live presentation by our department heads, demonstrations by our students, and a live question and answer session. If you have questions, Please type them in the comment section and we will answer them toward the end of the program. Rowan Engineering has student-centered, hands-on, project-based programs. Lab-based courses are integrated into most of our curriculum and our unique engineering clinic course sequence. Here, students have the opportunity to work collaboratively with faculty and industry professionals, along with their fellow students, to solve real-world problems. And you'll get to be part of groundbreaking discoveries. Working on these projects often leads to summer internships, presentations at national conferences, and even publishing opportunities. At Rowan, you'll be part of an undergraduate experience that has been recognized nationally. Our outstanding students and faculty have catapulted us to a US News and World Report ranking of number 17 in the nation for undergraduate engineering education. And importantly, our program is one of the most affordable engineering degrees you will find. Both our retention rate and our graduation rate exceed national averages by over 20%. And we routinely place more than 90% of our graduates in jobs in industry or in graduate school. Finally, being a Rowan engineer is not just about being in the classroom or the lab. We have a variety of student clubs and professional organizations which offer students a chance to get involved, build a network, and develop professional skills. 
This is an exciting time to be at Rowan, one of the nation's fastest growing universities. And to join the ranks of thousands of successful Rowan engineering graduates who are solving the problems of the 21st century. Welcome to Rowan Engineering. The Henry M. Rowan College of Engineering is one of 12 colleges and schools that make up Rowan University. Proudly, U.S. News and World Report has ranked our college 17th in the nation in our peer group and has recognized our university as one of the top 100 public universities in the nation. Our program is anchored by the unique and distinctive engineering clinic. This signature curriculum structures an eight semester sequence that ensures our students are exposed to real world, industry, government agency, and private foundation sponsored engineering challenges. Our curriculum successfully prepares students for both engineering careers and advanced graduate study. Students work in interdisciplinary teams to meet project goals and deliverables, work directly with faculty and network with leading industry professionals. In many instances, students are able to secure internships and full-time employment offers through working in engineering clinics. The Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering is a leader in developing solutions for a world that is rapidly changing. From structures to transportation systems, resiliency and environmental protection, our department has extensive expertise. Companies and agencies such as AECOM, American Asphalt, the Army Corps of Engineers, Atlantic City Electric, Gannett Fleming, and the Department of Transportation have sponsored our program and recruited our graduates. Our nationally ranked electrical and computer engineering program is one of few throughout the nation that meet accreditation requirements for both electrical engineering and computer engineering, giving our students a competitive advantage in the workplace. Notable clinic projects from the department are sponsored by Lockheed Martin, NASA, the FAA, and the United States Navy. As we grew in size and enrollment, we doubled the number of our full-time faculty, ensuring that the small class sizes and low student-to-faculty ratio, which has long been a hallmark of our programs, remains intact. At Rowan, you will not simply be one of hundreds of faces in a lecture hall. You will have an opportunity to work directly with faculty in small class settings conducive to student success. Biomedical engineering sits at the nexus of engineering and healthcare. Integrated with Rowan's two medical schools, our program is one of the fastest growing in the nation. Rowan students lead projects funded by NSF, NIH, and major biotechnology companies. Students have a strong record of placement in top graduate schools and careers with Merck, Stryker, Johnson & Johnson, Bristol-Myers Squibb, Medtronic, and others. Our college has recently seen unprecedented levels of growth, including bringing online a full state-of-the-art academic building, Engineering Hall, a full-scale renovation of our original home, Rowan Hall, ensuring all of our academic departments and students are able to benefit from modern, dedicated teaching and research spaces. The college's chemical engineering department has extensive expertise and a learning environment that replicates industry standards. From our multi-story distillation tower to our cold spray labs, Rowan chemical engineers graduate with hands-on experience. Rowan students have been able to work on projects sponsored by ExxonMobil, General Mills, Johnson Maffei, and the EPA, among a range of other agencies and companies. The college supports four major research centers, advanced manufacturing and materials, virtual and augmented reality, sustainable facilities, and transportation. Many institutions often reserve research center collaboration opportunities for graduate students, but at Rowan, undergraduates are welcome contributors to our thriving $50 million research operation. Our Experiential Engineering Education Department is home to the Innovative Engineering Entrepreneurship Degree and common first and second year engineering courses. The department leads the college's educational research program, ensuring Rowan students have the opportunity to directly benefit from groundbreaking discoveries. Rowan's nationally ranked mechanical engineering program is one of the most academically competitive departments in the state of New Jersey. Our graduates have recently pioneered advances in the aviation industry and in automated vehicle systems among a broad range of other sectors. Along with students in ECE, select students might also be able to join an exclusive four-year co-op program with Lockheed Martin. 
The college is also one of the largest tenants of the South Jersey Tech Park of Rowan University. Located just one mile from the Glassboro campus, this center houses several research centers and labs and offers opportunities for private sector businesses, small startup companies, and university faculty and students to collaborate and innovate. The diverse range of student-run extracurricular activities also affords students with opportunities to apply what they've learned in the classroom, form relationship with their peers and students from across the college and university, all while tackling exciting challenges and service opportunities. This is the Henry M. Rowan College of Engineering at Rowan University. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kevin Dahl. I've been a chemical engineering faculty member at Rowan since 1999, and I am currently in the role of interim department chair. I want to thank you for spending your time with us this afternoon, and I want to thank you for your interest in the chemical engineering program at Rowan. I'm here to tell you a little more about that program. Before I start, I'd like to point out that we're all at least 20 feet apart here, and we're all wearing masks except when we're actually talking on stream. We've been taking the pandemic very seriously here. Obviously, the pandemic has disrupted Rowan, like it's disrupted every school and every workplace in the world, but we've been doing our very best to balance safety with giving our students the best experience we can. So now, one of the resources that we have available that you might have seen is the chemical engineering website, and I'd like to direct your attention to the prospective students page, under which you'll find a page called Why Choose Rowan Chemical Engineering. Uh, what you'll find here is testimonials by several current and former students describing how they think their time at Rowan was beneficial to them. And so all of them have something useful to say. That's why we put them on the website in the first place. But if you watch all of them, there's two themes that I think will emerge. The first is the engineering clinics, and the second is the sense of community. So I'd like to say a few words about each of those during my time today. First, the engineering clinics. Rowan has a hallmark eight semester engineering clinic sequence, which is required for engineering students in all six of our engineering degree programs. So if you're studying chemical engineering here at Rowan, you'll experience the first year in sophomore engineering clinics. Now, these are classes that are designed to instill in you uh, basic engineering skills that are going to be beneficial to you in engineering regardless of what you're majoring in and you'll be working side by side with people from all of the Rowan engineering majors. Uh, you'll be learning things like engineering design, technical communication, how to write a good lab report, uh, lab skills, how to interpret data, lab safety, things like that that are applicable to any kind of engineering challenge. And then the junior senior engineering clinic, well that's the most exciting course in the curriculum in my opinion. It's a chance for you to work for a full semester on a team working on a real engineering project with close faculty supervision and a lot of our junior senior engineering clinic projects are sponsored by agencies like the National Science Foundation or the National Institute of Health or local companies. Uh, companies like Sunoco uh, have sponsored junior senior clinic projects that have been done by students, undergraduate students here in the department over the years and so that's a really important experience that I think uh, benefits our students greatly, giving them experience with a hands-on engineering challenge, and it's something that's unique to you. If you go to our website and you go to the undergraduate program, you'll be able to find a list of all the questions, all the courses that you're going to take in your time at Rowan, and you'll see a very similar list from any chemical engineering program in the country. Uh, the classes on that list, like thermodynamics and heat transfer, they're very important but they're not what's going to separate one chemical engineering program from another. Whereas your time in the junior senior engineering clinic, you're going to be doing something no one in the world has ever done before. You're going to be doing something that's unique to you. And that's going to be an experience you can take with you and an experience that you can talk about in job interviews and that sort of thing. So that's the engineering clinics. The second thing I'd like to talk about is the sense of community that we have in Rowan chemical engineering and in Rowan engineering in general. And one of the things that promotes the sense of community is small class sizes. So here today I'm standing in a room that's used for the first year and sophomore engineering clinics and this room is designed for 24 students. We've never had a, a section of first year or sophomore clinics that was bigger than that. Uh, in the chemical engineering core courses right now I'm teaching a class. Uh, there are 45 sophomores. 
Those are divided into two sections, one of 25 and one of 20. Those are typical class sizes for our chemical engineering core courses here at Rowan. Uh, 45 sophomores, the, the classrooms in this building aren't big enough to accommodate 45 students. So uh, we, we wouldn't have that many students in a class even if we wanted to. And the reason that we maintain these small class sizes is to help promote the sense of community so that you'll be, you'll be able to get to know your classmates well. You'll be able to, know, to, to, to interact personally with your faculty and, and get to know your faculty pretty well. Right? And so as an example of that, if I could go back to um, the, this page, these are all people who I know personally. This first one, Bridget Hempler, uh, she graduated in 2012. I had the privilege of attending her wedding in 2016. I was invited. I'm not saying that all Rowan Chemical Engineering students who graduate from the program do that, but that's the kind of personal relationship that you can build in the community here at Rowan. So those are my thoughts about the curriculum in Rowan Chemical Engineering. But now I'd like to say a few words about the extracurricular experience because we think that's also a vital part of the college experience and the Rowan Engineering experience. And so Rowan University has over 200 student organizations. And if you come to Rowan, regardless of what you're majoring in, I encourage you to find groups of students who are doing the same, they're doing things that you're passionate about, who are passionate about them too, and get involved in those extracurricular organizations. And one that hopefully we're all excited about is AICHE, the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. That is the National Professional Society for Chemical Engineering. So that's a society that exists on the national level, but it also exists on the campus level. Every, just about every uh, chemical engineering program in the country um, has a student chapter of AICHE. And every student chapter does things a little differently. So if you major in chemical engineering, uh, regardless of what school you major in chemical engineering at, if you major in chemical engineering, I encourage you to check out your campus's chapter of AICHE as early in your time at, as, a, as an engineer as possible and, and check out what they do, find out if it's a fit for you. Uh, here at Rowan, I think we have a particularly thriving student chapter of AICHE. Uh, we've been recognized several times by AICHE, the national organization, um, for being an outstanding student chapter. Uh, a few years ago, we were also recognized by Rowan University as the outstanding student organization on campus from among over 200 organizations. And so we, we think we have a pretty, a pretty strong and thriving um, student chapter of AICHE that we think is very valuable to building a sense of community and very valuable, very helpful to you in your journey as a chemical engineering student. And so here to tell you more about the student experience as a Rowan chemical engineer, uh, we have two representatives of the AICHE student chapter, and I'd like to start by introducing a junior, James Geyer. Good, good afternoon, everybody. My name is James Geyer. I'm the current president of Rowan AICHE, and to tell you a little bit more about my experience here, I started off as a freshman getting involved in AICHE as the um, freshman class representative and became fundraising chair and then treasurer. Now I am currently president. AICHE here at Rowan offers many great opportunities to get involved on campus and to meet all engineers over across all class levels. I've met um, seniors when I was sophomores who I'm friends with, and um, now I have freshmen who are a part of my e-board who I'm now getting to know more about, so it really brings everybody on campus together. I was able to attend conferences in Orlando and Penn State um, to learn more about engineering and chemical engineering on a broader scale and um, every what we do here at Rowan ASCHE we bring we have meetings every two weeks those meetings usually consist of bringing in either industrial members or other um, people either other speakers so that we can learn more about and chemical engineering in general um, and to talk more about it as well I'll introduce Kylie Howard our current treasurer Hi, I'm oh, hi, I'm Kylie Howard. Um, I'm the current treasurer of Rowan AICHE. Uh, my freshman year, I'm a sophomore. Uh, my freshman year, I was freshman representative, and now I've moved on to treasurer. And I'm really excited to start, you know, becoming more involved and 
I really wanted to get involved my freshman year. I wanted to make friends at college because I'm at a completely new area. And I found AICHE because I figured to get to know people in my major. And I went, ran for a so or freshman representative. And like James has said, like he has friends who are, we have now have freshmen on the e-board as being one of those freshman friends that James has also befriended. Um, you just have the sense of community as well, knowing people who are older to give you guidance. Like they have definitely given me advice on which professors to take for my other classes as well. And another club that I'm also a part of is uh, Women in Engineering. And Women in Engineering is a really great club to become a part of if you're a girl even even boys, boys still come to women engineering, and it just gives you a safe place to be, to have to meet other girls. Because there's been classes where there's a bit of a lack of female representation, but it's really nice to meet girls who are also in ECE, girls who are in which is electrical and computer engineering, mechanical engineering majors, civil engineering majors. I actually made one of my closest friends in my freshman engineering clinic. She's a civil engineering major, and we became friends right away when we met. And I really do appreciate that my freshman year when I had freshman engineering clinic in person, the tiny classroom sizes made it really easy to just walk across the room and talk to somebody, ask a question. However, unfortunately due to this semester, a lot of my classes are remote, but becoming involved with AICHE will definitely help you branch out your opportunities in order to make, to make friends who are also chemical engineers. And same for women in engineering and society of women engineers. Dr. Day. Hello. Uh, thank you again for, for joining us today. And the, the chat is open for questions. Uh, we apparently had a question come in about uh, gaining multiple credentials within the chemical engineering curriculum. And so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. So the first thing is uh, engineering is a very prescribed curriculum, right? There are a lot of required courses. That's not just true here at Rowan, and that's not just true in chemical engineering. There are a lot of required courses. And, and so sometimes there's not a, a lot of choice on what you're going to register for. But, but here at Rowan, we have a couple of opportunities within chemical engineering to customize your experience for your personal goals. The first is your choice of chemical engineering junior senior clinic projects, right? And so, so the way that works is there are dozens of junior senior clinic projects offered every semester. And you'll have the opportunity during the first week of clinic to review all those projects, a list of all those projects, and rank your top eight choices. And, and out of dozens of choices, hopefully number eight is still something you're pretty excited about. And, and then there's a, an algorithm that pairs up students with projects. We would love to give everyone their first choice, uh, but, but you can probably imagine if 15 people pick this project um, and, and only two people pick this project, then we're going to need some people who, who listed this one as a second choice to to, to take that one and so on. Uh, but we're, we're pretty good at pairing up people uh, with, with projects they're excited about. And the second thing is we have in our curriculum three senior electives. Um, so you can, you can target your choice of senior electives towards your personal career goals. And so within the chemical engineering program, we offer two concentrations, uh, one in bioengineering and one in materials. And the way you earn those is by targeting your junior senior clinic, clinic project selections and your electives towards the area of materials or bio, whichever one you're interested in. And so that's a way to further, you know, both, both your personal interest in one of those subjects and to get an additional credential beyond the chemical engineering degree or within the chemical engineering degree, a concentration in uh, an area that, that you're particularly knowledgeable about, right? The other thing is um, a great many of our students have earned minors. Um, the most common ones are mathematics and chemistry because in chemical engineering, if you take all the math and chemistry that are required for our program anyway, you're only two courses away from a minor in math and two courses away from a minor in chemistry. So if you're particularly excited about one of those areas, uh, I would certainly encourage you, and, and we've had lots of, of our graduates do it, uh, to, to further your knowledge in that area and also earn uh, the minor. Uh, double majoring is harder, uh, but it's not unprecedented. Um, obviously, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of degree requirements in the chemical engineering program. So double majoring is something that would probably require a fifth year, or if you're coming in with a lot of AP credits and you're willing to take a course or two over summers, 
Uh, you might be able to do that. I can think of uh, people who have graduated from the program uh, with double majors in, in math, in chemistry, um, and in uh, world languages, and in music. Um, so it, it has been done, and if you're passionate about it, you can find a way to do it. Um, then the other aspect of the question was on a fast track to uh, a graduate degree. And so uh, we don't, we, we have a master's degree and a PhD program in Rowan Chemical Engineering. And so what will sometimes happen is if you graduate for, with, with your bachelor's degree in four years and you decide you want to move on to the master's program, you'll have the opportunity to do your master's research potentially with the same faculty member that you were working with uh, in your junior senior engineering clinic. So you would have the opportunity uh, to potentially do your master's thesis in the same research area that you're already experienced in through the junior senior engineering clinic. And so um, while a typical master's degree usually takes two years, uh, if, if you are able to synergize uh, your undergraduate experience with your graduate experience in that way, uh, 18 months or so instead of two years is something that's, that's quite doable. Um, and then we also have uh, within the uh, senior year uh, something called senior privilege where a senior student who has um, a sufficiently high grade point average can uh, take graduate courses for graduate credit and we allow that course to fill one of our, our senior electives but it's also a legitimate graduate course which you could transfer to the graduate program at any chemical engineering uh, school in the country. And so I, I hope that's a, a sufficient answer to that question. Yes, Dr. Dom, another question we have coming in is, where do some of our graduates find work um, that don't go on to grad school immediately? And uh, maybe we could also hear uh, the perspective of our students and maybe their career goals. Sure, okay. Uh, so the, uh, the, the most common companies that have hired our graduates, uh, Bridget here works at ExxonMobil. We, we placed a lot of people at ExxonMobil. Um, and uh, the, other, the other big oil companies like Sunoco um, have also hired a number of our graduates over the years. Um, and then uh, we had, there, there's, a, there's a DuPont headquarters in Wilmington and we've sent a lot of chemical engineering graduates there. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's quite a concentration of our alumni uh, working for DuPont in Wilmington, and several of them actually work at Key Moores, which is the company that spun off from DuPont about four years ago. All right, and so, so that's sort of the big petroleum companies. That's a very common com uh, career path for chemical engineering graduates, um, you know, the oil companies. And then sort of the basic and specialty chemical companies like, like DuPont, Johnson Matthews, another one, uh, not as well known nationally uh, as DuPont, um, but, but here in New Jersey, Johnson Matthews is a really big specialty chemical company that's hired a lot of our graduates. And so, so when, when someone who's sort of uh, a member of the general public thinks about chemical engineering, those are probably the, the places you think of, the big oil companies, the big chemical companies, and we do send a lot of our graduates to those places. Uh, what, what might be less obvious uh, to, to someone who's not in the chemical industry is that, you know, chocolate is also a chemical product, right? So oil is a chemical product, um, shampoo is a chemical product, chocolate is a chemical product. And so we've also got a lot of graduates working for places like Hershey and General Mills and Campbell's Soup. And um, so I can offhand think of alumni that are working for all those places. And um, then it is also possible um, to, to take a chemical engineering degree and, and go on to law school or med school. And so, you know, there, there are people, um, you know, one of my best friends has a chemical engineering degree and is also uh, a lawyer. And uh, she works at a, a, a pharmaceuticals company helping them with all their IP, their patent applications and that sort of thing. And, and so um, that's, that's a perfectly legitimate career path. We, we've sent uh, 
chemical engineering graduates on to, to law school and to med school. Um, chemical engineering is a perfectly reasonable preparation for med school. Uh, so those are some of my thoughts on, on where our graduates actually find work after they graduate. And uh, let's, let's go to Kaylee, right? So um, to add on to the previous um, like discussion about uh, adding like a minor or a concentration, I actually have a minor in Spanish. Uh, I actually took um, an exam that tested me out of the first three levels, and now I only have to take three additional courses in Spanish. And the reason why I picked Spanish was because it kind of sets me like aside, it kind of makes me stand out, makes me look different than um, obviously a mathematics degree or a chemistry degree is are obviously incredibly useful to being a chemical engineer, but I wanted to do something that's not so science heavy and it's a nice break and from doing lots of heavy math all the time. But, um, but for the industry question, um, something that I've always been particularly interested in is cosmetics. Cosmetics is something that is also a chemical product and the reason why I've always just been interested in cosmetics is because when I was in middle school a, a group of female engineers came to my school and that's actually how I got the idea of wanting to major in engineering ever since and now I'm kind of excited to do that for other for other girls in middle school uh, because now I'm in women engineering so it's really great to have some of these outreach programs and also um, AICHE we recently had a panel earlier this week where um, p different people from industry came in and talked to talk to us, uh, people from Exxon Noble, people from Bristol Myers Squibb. Um, it's really just like a really great way to like get that like face-to-face -face sort of interaction with people. You could just, we could, we're all in breakout rooms, we rotated, we were in small groups, and you could just directly ask them questions about industry. So for me, myself, I'm not exactly quite sure what I want to do. I know I was still just a sophomore in college, but um, yeah, there's plenty of different opportunities that AIC can de AICG can definitely offer to expose you to what industry you work in. And as for me, uh, being a junior, um, as Dr. Dama said, everyone's heard of like the big oil companies and the energy companies. Um, I'm actually interested in the pharmaceutical companies. I've learned about them um, through one of the AICHE meetings when we had uh, a couple of representatives from Bristol Myers Squibb come in and they gave us the lowdown. It's really opened my eyes to the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry. And also going off what Dr. Dama said earlier, I had, um, I'm thinking about doing the concentration of bioengineering. Uh, I'm still talking to the uh, advisor, Dr. Thompson, about that and learning more about it. And um, yeah, uh, there's so many different opportunities I can take with a uh, chemical engineering degree, as you've heard from both Kylie and Dr. Dom. Um, the opportunities are really endless and the world will be yours if you have a chemical engineering degree. I know a lot of people have gone through uh, business masters and are focusing on the business aspect of engineering and um, a lot of engineering companies have actually um, attested to that and said it's a great route to go down as well. And I want to thank James for mentioning the, uh, the MBA path because a lot of our graduates do do that. And uh, you can actually do that here at Rowan too. Um, we, we, have a, we have a gentleman graduated from chemical engineering in 2009, uh, came back uh, for his master's in business, also from Rowan, and I actually just hired him to teach a course for me as an adjunct faculty member in the spring of 2021. Um, so, so yes, a lot of our graduates do take that path. I believe we had another question about undergraduate research. How can undergraduates get involved in research here at Rowan? And so, the, the number one outlet for that is the Junior Senior Engineering Clinic. There's a lot of different kinds of, of Junior Senior Engineering Clinic projects that are offered, and it's all basically getting personally involved in what your, your faculty member uh, does as their primary area of scholarship. And so some of the projects are sponsored by companies, and they're very targeted. Uh, development projects, uh, something that the company wants an answer about quickly, and in the course of the semester, uh, the students will try to answer that question. Uh, sometimes our students actually through the junior senior engineering clinic actually get involved in developing uh, educational materials. So we, we've had people as their junior senior engineering clinic project uh, under the supervision of a faculty member develop an experiment or an activity that was subsequently used in Rowan chemical engineering classes by other students. So, so those kinds of junior senior clinic projects exist. There's a wide range of clinic projects out there, but the number one most common type of junior senior engineering clinic project is 
a research project, right? And so um, to give you an example, uh, Dr. Joseph Stanzione, um, who is a, a, a materials, a, a, a polymer researcher here at Rowan, uh, he received the, the single biggest grant in the history of uh, Rowan's College of Engineering. I believe it was $14 million uh, from, from the US Army. And so he's got students doing fundamental research with him in the broad area of polymers, a lot of different sub-projects, but all in the broad area of polymers. And so a lot of students work with him every semester as their junior senior engineering clinic. And if you peruse our faculty and staff web pages, you'll be able to see uh, some more about the kinds of research our individual faculty do. And those are the kinds of things you can get involved in um, through the junior senior engineering clinic. But you don't have to wait until you're a junior when it's required to be part of the curriculum to get involved in research if that's something you're excited about and something you're passionate about. Uh, there's other ways to get involved prior to that. And so that same Joseph Stanzione that I was talking about earlier, um, he has always had first and second year students working with him in his lab as volunteers. And so a number of students over the years have approached him uh, asking to get involved in his lab and um, you know, he's, he, he takes them on uh, for a few hours a week uh, as volunteers and that's how they start. And then a lot of them go on to, to work with him as junior senior engineering clinic projects. And so, so we've had students spend as many as four years uh, working in the same lab, uh, doing research in the same area. Um, and, and if that's not your cup of tea, you can also do four completely different projects for your four semesters of junior senior engineering clinic. But if you're really excited about research, you can get involved in research at an early point. And, and I'm talking about Dr. Stanzione because his picture is right next to mine. And, and that, that US Army grant is a good story. But all of our faculty um, have those sorts of opportunities. And like I said, you can learn more about them through their web pages. Now, the other thing to remember is uh, there are summers and winter break. And so um, a number of students over the years have made a little extra money uh, by doing some work uh, for a couple weeks during winter break in one of our labs or have worked in one of our labs as a summer research intern. And I'd like to point out that if you get involved in research as a volunteer during your first or second year or both, uh, that will make you more competitive for a lot of kinds of summer internships that you could apply for, both here within Rowan or anywhere in the country. The fact that you've already taken the initiative and gotten some research experience early in your time at Rowan, uh, that could really benefit you and set you apart from other applicants when you pursue a summer internship, um, e either within Rowan or in a company or in another school. So talk, to talk more about the uh, junior and senior level clinics. Uh, being a junior, I am enrolled in one of the junior level clinics in which we work. We're partnering with the EPA, and we are, our project's called uh, uh, Developing a Road Work for Solvent Recovery in Pharmaceuticals. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to model different separations units, and we're taking material that we learned in our classes, separations and process fluid transport and other classes, thermodynamics, and we're applying that to our research experience and we're trying to find a um, proper um, method of disposal or recycling for uh, different solvents and um, pharmaceutical industries because a lot of them go to waste and that's impactful for both financial reasons and the environment. Um, as Dr. Dom said, many uh, students work over the summer. I had the opportunity to work on this this past summer with uh, Dr. Yankee and um, I've learned a lot through this. I've um, many different skills, coding aspects, and um, other fundamental chemical engineering aspects that uh, help me through my classwork and will uh, help me in in the future as well. Um, coming from like a recent uh, freshman, uh, or when I was a freshman, I actually talked to one of my uh, freshman engineering clinic professor, Dr. Tom Cristiani. Um, I actually got to sit in on his junior clinic lab that he had going on with actually other AICG board members and I was able to just like sit in there and like kind of like watch what they were doing and he would just like explain to me like all the different things that like the scaffolding cells that he was 
um, completing, they actually they actually had a cow tail and that they were looking at the spinal cord of it in order to kind of like mimic the cells and it was a really cool experience. Unfortunately, that was cut short due to COVID and I'm hoping to get back into a lab soon. Thank you. Uh, so another question has come in about facilities. Uh, that's, that's a tricky one because of course, normally we'd be doing this in person. Normally we'd be inviting you to campus for campus tours and you'd be able to see that firsthand. Um, so, and, and my hope is that you know, with, within, a, within the next year that will become possible again. Uh, but uh, to, to answer your question as best I can, uh, the building that we're standing in right now is less than four years old, right? This is Engineering Hall. Uh, the Rowan College of Engineering only dates back to the 90s. Henry Rowan gifted $100 million to what was then Glassboro State uh, so that we could build a state-of-the-art undergraduate focused engineering program. And we'd like to think that's what we've done. All right, and so Rowan Hall, the original engineering building, uh, is about 25 years old. And so when Rowan Hall opened, we had about 100 engineering students per year, about 400 to 500 total students per year in those early years. Now we have over 1,300 engineering undergraduates at Rowan, and to accommodate the growth, uh, we've added a second building, Engineering Hall, uh, which I believe it was the spring of 2017 that it opened. And so, so this is a, a fairly new building, and so this, this building has uh, new labs, and, and each of the faculty who are research active have uh, lab space uh, state-of-the-art uh, new lab facilities that are geared for what they need and after this building opened, after Engineering Hall opened, we did a major renovation of the first building, Rowan Hall, and so um, the offices were untouched but the labs were all completely renovated so the original engineering building now has the same new high caliber lab facilities that this new building has. And <coughs> And those facilities aren't just available to faculty and graduate students because the junior senior clinic and, and the other mechanisms that we've talked about directly involve undergraduate students in research. And we also have dedicated lab facilities for our first and second year engineering students, which include the classroom slash lab that we are standing in right now. It's a modularized uh, room that, that supports both uh, classroom activities and bench scale laboratory experiments. And so this room, I actually taught first year engineering clinic in this room two years ago. So we also have a question for the students about academic support and kind of accessibility to faculty. So kind of why don't we start with you, talk about um, you know how easy it is to get in touch with faculty and what kind of academic uh, yeah, and specifically in engineering, like you can always email your professors. They'll, you, like since COVID, like everyone has been like really fast with answering. Um, I know that on behalf of being a student athlete as well, I run track and field. Um, there's many different, uh, like uh, different supports where you can go and you can get tutoring if you need it. Um, yeah, there's also the academic support center. I know. I think it's in Savitz. Um, I have never, like, personally have ever gone to it, but I know directly, like, I've talked to James before about orgo, organic chemistry, multiple times. Um, you have great, like, also becoming part of ASHE, you can talk to many upperclassmen and that they can offer you a lot of academic support and guidance with the classes that you're taking. Yeah, and to go off of that, um, as Kai mentioned, the academic, academic Success Center is a great resource we have on campus here, um, as well as tutoring, as Kylie also mentioned. Um, but also, uh, you also have your fellow peers to lean against and to help you, so you can ask them any questions. I also, going off of the professors and getting in contact with them, I'm in a, um, a group me group chat with uh, several of my professors, and I have their personal phone numbers as well, which they say they can uh, feel free to reach out at any time, so everyone is easily accessible. And um, they're usually quick with getting back to you with uh, emails or if you send them a message, they will have a response for you and they'll make themselves available to help. 
Okay, and, and so we, we, we do indeed have um, formal tutoring and, and programs like that here at Rowan to support the students, but, but um, as Kaylee mentioned, sometimes the, the peer mentoring that happens organically and informally is actually the more valuable and the more, um, the more effective. Uh, in terms of faculty resources, uh, I'm the department chair. Uh, prior to being the department chair, I was what was called the undergraduate program advisor, and so I'm actually the academic advisor for all of the upper level chemical engineering students and I'm available as a resource for all of our students when they need help with with questions that are academic or, or non-academic and that starts now so we're about to wrap up our session this morning but my email address is right here it's my last name dom at rowan.edu and I'm here to answer your questions anytime um, so you can reach out to me at any time I know that it's a big decision where you're going to go to school I hope that you're looking at a lot of different schools and um, if you have any questions that you want to ask either now or in the future that, that come up as you're going through this process, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, email is probably the best way to reach me right now uh, be, because, um, be, because during COVID I have not been coming into the office every day. And so I want to thank you all again for spending your afternoon and thank you all again for your interest in chemical engineering at Rowan University.